Hi, it's Dr. Bahadur. Welcome uh, to this segment on a balanced life. What is a balanced life? So within our teachings and our programs to students around the world, we have different components. The first component is mental health. And many of us are addicted to different types of drugs and hold the habits that creates uh, discomfort, pain, out of alignment, and that, that evolves into physical. So physically you're not gymming, or you, if you, you are gymming, you're gymming maybe once a year, <laughs> and uh, you believe gymming is just walking or going to the car and that's well I've done my share I find some of my students will say well I just swept the house yes it is for some form of exercise but it's more than that so in, in establishing your mental health we use meditation we use prayer we use uh, other modalities to help you achieve the equanimity and balance in within you and the silencing and quietening of the body quietening of the mind and then we have your physical uh, physical starts with your dietary uh, we then seek professional advice if you don't know this YouTube uh, many videos on that to assist you and then physically being actually doing something physical uh, cycling walking as an exercise daily or have a, a, a program drafted for you by a professional or someone you know that's achieving the results you are wanting referencing that individual and from that comes your financial uh, well-being your financial abundance uh, financial abundance uh, financial ease is exactly that knowing what your magic number is uh, how much you want to earn uh, to give you that passive income that is extremely important because finance is almost the center you know your mental and physical health and financial abundance is you know, I have many students will say that I'd rather face a problem having a bank balance of millions than facing the uh, problem with no money exactly so and with money you can do many things so we've got mental health physical health financial abundance and lastly we include healthy wealthy relationships and that is with individuals uh, a relationship with money uh, money I believe is like dating the better you romance money the closer you keep it and, and some people just can't keep money it, it comes in and goes it comes in and goes and sometimes it feels like at the end of the month you know you get paid uh, but after the debit orders are gone through and uh, almost nothing left and then sometimes you're buying stuff on your credit card and then you've got your credit card payments. So it's relationships, relationships with yourself, most important relationship with yourself, creating that balance, equanimity, quieting the mind, stillness, blissful living. And, and yeah, you're moving on. And uh, that's our components. Uh, thank you and look forward to your comments. Uh, Dr. Bahadur.